Nothing spreads winter magic like snow. Starting as early in November in some places, kids all across the world can wake up in hopes for that white blanket covering their landscape. Snow means snowmen and snow angels and a warm cup of cocoa when you come inside. But what is snow really? And are no two snowflakes really the same? On this episode of Rain Check, we're going to dive more into snow and what makes our winter wonderlands so wondrous. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Alexa Minton, and this is Rain Check. Snow can come in many different types of forms. So let's explore those different types of forms today. One of the most common forms of snow is snowflakes. Those are those classic pop culture snowflakes you see when you cut them out of paper or you see hanging on your Christmas tree. Snowflakes are ice crystals or clusters of ice crystals that fall from a cloud. Two other types of snow are aurifrost, which are interlocking ice crystals that often kind of form like a vapor and condense and turn into a solid around poles or mailboxes. So that thicker snow that you see almost frozen on your mailboxes and poles, that's aurifrost. Another type of snow is grapple. Grapple are tinier, softer balls of ice crystals. So when you see those snowflakes that look almost like hail pellets, they're actually still snow. They look like hail, but they're a little bit softer. Our final type of snow is polycrystals. Polycrystals are hundreds of individual ice crystals. So they look like snowflakes on top of snowflakes in the form of one big snowflake. Now that we know the categories of snowflakes, let's discover if it's really possible that no two snowflakes are the same. According to the Library of Congress, about one septillion snowflakes fall each year. That's one trillion trillion snowflakes falling on our ground. Now, analyzing all of those snowflakes would be a daunting task. So the probability of finding two in septillion out of all of those snowflakes that would be completely identical is a pretty small margin. For that tiny percentage, it's a tentative statement made by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that no two snowflakes can be the same. However, in 1988, scientist Nancy Knight serendipitously discovered two very similar snowflakes. She was studying a Wisconsin snowstorm and found two flakes that appeared to be almost identical. Additionally, Dr. Kenneth Liebrecht from the California Institute of Technology discovered that once you remove the turbulent fall process from the generation of snowflakes, snowflakes can actually be generated to be almost identical. Both of these discoveries refute the claim that no two snowflakes are the same. However, they don't completely weaken the theory that no two snowflakes are identical. Each drop of water vapor is completely unique. So think of snowflakes like identical twins. At first glance, they're undistinguishable. However, the more you delve into their makeup, the more unique they are. So this winter, see if you can find two identical twin snowflakes. You never know what you could find with a little bit of winter magic. Thanks for joining me today. My name's Alexa Minton, and this was Rain Check.